Hi gang, we are working on our 4.7 notes. We are going to be talking about isosceles and equilateral triangles. Um, our goal for the day, make sure you write this down so you know what the notes are about. Our goal for the day is to know how sides and angles are related in isosceles triangles. For this video, we are going to talk just about the isosceles triangles. And then in the next video, we're going to talk about the equilateral triangles. Um, so we're going to focus on isosceles right now. Uh, before we get started, um, I am going to have you pause your video. And in that, when you pause, I want you to take out your notes packet. And I want you to take out the very first page that has this triangle on it. Rip that guy out. And I want you to cut out this triangle that's right here. Um, because we're going to do this. So it's really important that you do this. Remember, it's always easier to learn by doing rather than just watching. So pause the video and um, get your triangle cut apart. Okay, gang. So here's my triangle. I got it all cut out. Um, I did color the two sides of my triangle that say 13.5. I colored them both pink. And the bottom, I colored green. That one is different. And I colored that green and notice that I put tick marks on the two equal sides and I put different tick marks. I put two tick marks on the bottom. So this is an isosceles triangle. So go to your notes. Get our paws out of there. Go to our notes and let's write the definition of an isosceles triangle. Remember an isosceles triangle is a triangle. I'm going to use the symbol for a triangle. With at least two equal sides. That does mean that an equilateral triangle, which actually has three equal sides, falls into the isosceles category. But we are specifically going to be talking about triangles in this video that just have two of the sides that are equal. All right, now what I want you to do is I want you to do an experiment for me. I would like you to take your triangle and I would like you to fold it in half so that the two pink sides or the two that are 13.5 fold right on top of each other. That means the bottom side, which is mine is the green one. That one is the one that's gonna fold in half, all right? So again, we're going to pause for just a second so that you can get that guy folded in half and we'll be back. All right, so here's my triangle that I folded in half right there. Notice that I colored the um, fold line right down the middle. I did that guy purple. And then um, the green one down here, that's the one that got bisected because we folded it in half. The important thing that I want you to notice is that we really have two triangles that are exactly the same on the left and the right. Notice the angles down in the corner. This is angle C on one side, and if you flip it over, you have angle B on the other side. These two angles right here are exactly equal because they are laying right on top of each other. That right there is the lesson that we are going to learn for today. An isosceles triangle, has two equal angles. Notice that they are opposite of the pink sides. They are on the edges of the base, angle B and angle C. On the bottom green side, one of the equal angles is on the left, and one of the equal angles is on the right, right there. Now, I marked my picture again. So you can pause in just a second. I'll hold this up here. We put an equal mark on B and an equal mark on C. I put one tick mark on each side and I put a 90 degree in the middle. So we are going to pause again and I want you to get your picture marked exactly like that. All right, did you get it all marked? So let's take this information and now we're gonna take it and put it right into our note sheet. So what did we learn? We learned that in an isosceles triangle that has two equal sides, and then we have this third side on the bottom that is different. Actually, we marked these guys with threes, and we marked this one with two. 
we have one side that's different. That different side is called the base. And these two equal sides are called the legs. I also want you to mark on your picture the angle at, top, at the top. This guy right here, it's called the vertex angle. Always remember to pause the video in case you need to get caught up in your writing. What I want you to do when you see one of these triangles that is isosceles, I want you to draw a line on the base. That is the one that's different. And I want you to circle the two ends of the base. Those two angles right there are what we call base angles. And they are always equal. That right there is what you need to know. Oftentimes they will talk about the angles that are opposite the equal legs. That means opposite of this leg and opposite of this leg. But I like to remember that it's the angles that are um, on the ends of the base right there. Those are the equal angles. The vertex angle at the top um, can be different because um, you have different legs and bases. Um, it's the equal angles that you need to make sure that you know about. So we're gonna write right here in our summary. Remember, this is what you need to know for the test. We need to know that we have two equal legs and two equal base angles. All right, that's what you need to know. That's what you're gonna study. Make sure that you have that for the test right there. Okay, now we are going to, oh, a couple other things in this picture I wanted to mark on this. The other thing I like to do when we have this picture is I like to mark this line of symmetry. This is our fold line right here. Remember, that's when we folded it right in half, right on that line. And we had 90 degrees right here. Line of line of symmetry and 90 degrees on each side of that line of symmetry with that base being cut in half equal on both sides. All right, so what we're gonna do is again, we're gonna pause right there, make sure that you have all of those notes written down before you move on. Um, and we're going to set up a few problems in our practice um, so that you can practice using your isosceles triangles. Hold on. All right, now we are here um, in our practice problems um, on our isosceles triangles. We have a couple things in the margin here that I wanna make sure that you're paying attention to. Uh, remember that the um, sum of the angles of a triangle right here, the sum of the angles of a triangle is always going to be 180 degrees. Um, and then the other thing that I want you to remember is, does the sum of the angles of the triangle always equal the same number? Sorry, I read that wrong. Does the sum of the sides always equal the same number? And the answer to that is no. When we're talking about sides, those can add up to any number. And remember that number is called the perimeter. So angles, always 180, 
sides. That is called the perimeter, and that's not always the same number. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's look here at question number one, um, letter A. So here we have our triangle. Oops. Notice that in our triangle, we have this side and this side. Those are both the equal sides. That means down here on the bottom, that's our base. Remember I said that I wanted you to mark your different side with that dark line. And then you should circle both sides of that. I always think it kind of looks like a barbell. Circle both sides of it. And then whatever is in those circles will always be your equal angles. So I know for this problem that 3x minus 18, this one on the left, will always equal this one on the right, x plus 12. Why? because base angles are always equal. All right, now let's try the next question. And the next question here, notice that we have the two equal angles. So when we have this, we're gonna do it a lot the same. Remember that if those equal angles are here and here, then this side between it has to be the base, which means my equal sides have to be these two legs, the 2x plus 19 and the 4x plus 7. We say oftentimes that you are given distractors in a problem, and in this case, x plus 10 is not a number that you need because that's the leg, excuse me, that's the base, not the legs. That is the different side not the same sides. So we write our equation as 2x plus 19 equal to 4x plus 7 because legs of isosceles triangle are equal. All right, now I'm gonna slide up here a little bit and we are gonna do the last question. Awesome, for this last question, um, notice we actually have lots of parts here. We have lots of angles, we have lots of sides. We have to kind of figure out everything that's going on. So the first thing I notice is that I have my tick marks on these two, ang excuse me, these two sides right here. That means that this one Right here, BC, that has to be the base side, and that means angle C and angle B have to be by base angles. Those are the two that are the same. So they ask us to try to find two different X equations, and then we're gonna try to find one for Y also. Now, I circled these two angles, and so remember that makes those two angles the same. So we can do 2X, plus one equals three X minus four because those base angles are equal. But we could also think about this number right here, 158, and we could remember that we have 180 degrees in that triangle. If you wanted, you could think that I could do 180 minus 158 and I could say that there are 22 degrees left in the two angles that are there and if we divide that by 2 we would get 11 degrees per angle it would also be possible to say that 2x plus 1 equals 11 or 3x minus 4 equals 11. Both of those are possibilities. All right, now let's do the y part. And when I look in this problem, the only place that I see the y is right here. So I have to find up some I have to find a way to set up the y part and I notice over here 
those are the two um, sides that are the same. And so there is the setup for my last equation. I can say that 4y minus 2 has to equal 14 because the legs are equal. All right? So there is um, a few problems on isosceles triangles. Um, make sure that you have all of the notes from the beginning. Let me scroll back up there. That right there. There's your important stuff. Good luck on your isosceles triangles, and we will see you um, in video two. Adios.